This is Floyd. He is a PhD student in immunology. This is his first time performing a flow cytometry experiment, characterizing different cell populations. Wait a minute. Something is wrong with this data. Here's non-specific signal. Is it possible that FC receptors are binding to the antibodies? Let's take a look. Those meddling FC receptors? Many immune cells express FC receptors on their surface. These recognize and bind the FC region of the antibodies, causing these antibodies to be bound to non-target cells, which can affect the experimental results. Looks like we should use FC receptor block, which can prevent the binding of FC receptors to the FC region of the antibody and decrease the experimental background. However, not only does this method take more time and effort, FC block isn't always 100% effective. Can we find a solution that tackles this problem at its root? How about this? Protein Tech's FC0 wrap recombinant antibodies for flow cytometry are the perfect solution to this problem. FC0 wrap antibodies are genetically engineered to have five main advantages compared to conventional flow cytometry antibodies. First, the antibody backbone is redesigned at the DNA level to silence the FC receptor binding region and completely eliminate FC receptor binding to effectively decrease experimental background. This way, FC0 RAB recombinant antibodies won't be affected by cell surface FC receptors and will only bind to the target protein via the antigen binding site. Second, FC0 RAB recombinant antibodies have added a site specific conjugation site in the FC region. At this site, you can attach your desired label, enzyme, fluorophore, or other conjugate to your antibody in a stoichiometric and site specific manner. Unlike traditional stochastic chemical conjugation, FC0 RAB recombinant antibodies guarantee that your conjugate is bound to the FC portion of the antibody and will not interfere with binding to the target protein. Third, conventional flow antibodies come from a range of hosts and isotypes, requiring the use of multiple isotype controls. FC0 RAB recombinant antibodies uses a universal isotype, so only one isotype control is needed, decreasing the complexity and cost of experiments. Fourth, the FC0 RAB backbone has been combined with the epitope binding region of many classic flow cytometry clones, preserving the binding behavior of these top sided clones while increasing the purity and thus increasing the binding efficacy. Lastly, as a recombinantly manufactured antibody, the lot to lot consistency of FC0 RAB recombinant antibodies is guaranteed at the DNA level. That means each batch of antibody is guaranteed to have the exact same amino acid sequence and the same binding performance. In summary, compared to conventional flow cytometry antibodies, FC0RAB recombinant antibodies for flow cytometry have five main benefits. First, FC receptor binding is eliminated. Second, site specific conjugation, ensuring the conjugate won't interfere with antigen binding. Third, a universal isotype, simplifying your controls. Fourth, combined with top sided clones, increasing their binding efficacy. Fifth, high lot to lot consistency, as antibodies are identical at the DNA level. Wow, there are so many advantages. Let's take a look at how FC0 RAB recombinant antibodies perform in a real experiment by using FC0 RAB CD3 and CD4 recombinant antibodies to analyze human PBMCs in flow cytometry. Compared to conventional monoclonal flow antibodies or conventional monoclonal flow antibodies with FC block, using FC0 RAB antibodies results in cleaner data with clearer separation of populations and lower background. FC0 RAB recombinant antibodies for flow cytometry are truly the next generation of flow cytometry antibodies. I can't wait to start using FC0 RAB antibodies in my flow panel. How about you?